Yeah, again, I gave the example of uh, one uh, Britannica in print form. That is not an electronic database. And uh, these days, like I said just a moment ago, you can go to Britannica in make after a Google search. Fantastic. So these are simplest examples. Or for that matter, your uh, own attendance register in the CED. You, what is the basis? Well, there is a page. You can, if you want to call it, it's a flat page. That is the difference. Botanica and uh, the Biblio, whatever search we make, it is not a flat, uh, flat database, not a flat sheet, flat page database. Instead, it is actually a, 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 what is called, the, I would say, inter. It is not a hierarchical database. Yeah, to some extent it is hierarchical database. Or to some degree it can be a, called a mixture of uh, network database and uh, because we go through the network of uh, cyber network to locate the a page or a topic so that we can uh, sit down and uh, learn about it. And in fact, I recommend strongly that you also go for a search in Britannica and look up what is a database and what are electronic databases. What is the difference? Electronic, you know, as I said, the attendance register kept in the desk of uh, Dr. Cripps is actually a flat sheet database. And uh, what is the arrangement there? You have uh, all the names of students participants in this course return one below the other following the alphabetic order. That is, a column is devoted to name. Now, tomorrow or in the afternoon when you go back to sign, just read very carefully. There is a column devoted to name and the names are arranged alphabetically. Then, there are against any, every name, there is a, actually a calendar starting with, uh, of course, 18, 5, and so on and so forth. So, that is actually a record. For example, against your name, there are several calendar days that you have to sign or you already signed. This is actually a record. Every name is a record. Every name is a record. In the sense, there is an ID. What is the ID? your name alphabetically and what is it? So there is a serial number 1 or 2 or 5 or 12 and then what you do is you sign in the morning when you come in and in the afternoon when you go, go home at the end of the day after the course. So this is a flat sheet database. The only thing is you know we can uh, we cannot, we, we won't be able, it is not electronic, that is the most important thing, okay? Again, what is this order? The order is a hierarchical order. What is, in the sense, you have month of May in the geoinformatics course. Then, the number of students uh, against, uh, uh, arranged alphabetically against a serial number and horizontally each row Vertically, each column, one column, first column is devoted to serial number, second column devoted to the name, third column are the calendar dates. That is, each column has a attribute, each column has a word attribute or a title. Each column has a title and the title is an attribute. Column 1 is the serial number, that is an attribute. Column 2 is the name, that is an attribute. Then the calendar days, these are the attributes. Vertical, columns. Horizontally, it's called a row. In other words, very easy to figure out whether Mr. A or B was present or absent on a certain date when we held the classes because you are signing there. Mr. A and B would, would have signed. 
So we have now taken this to what is called the, the electronic database. We are even today doing it uh, what, like what we call as a flat sheet manner. Well, uh, I'm not sure, in spite of the last two years of disruption and uh, classes, remote classes, that were held in colleges and schools, how many of you now present in this course are familiar with Excel spread sheet? I'm not sure how many are, are familiar with the application of Excel sheet. It is actually a flat sheet, but electronic. That's the only difference. It is a flat sheet electronic database. <coughs> in which you can create a data set. And another interesting thing about uh, the Excel spreadsheet is, it is a cost suppressor. Another, you can make it uh, is, you can have a query. You can ask for, for example, you have listed as column headings. First one is sample ID, let's say a piece of a, a liter of water. Then column two is two and beyond. It is the physical properties. Then beyond that physical properties, it is the chemical properties. And finally, the biological properties and so on. So we can aggregate, for example, <coughs> These days, uh, the monsoon has uh, begun actually. People are talking about E. coli. Shigellal had it stored. <coughs> now it is the E. coli turn, a turn of the E. coli. E. coli is a fecal bacteria. And of course, when there is a fecal bacteria mixed with the well water, drinking well water, or a similar source, that means there is a mixing of sewage material with the uh, water body. That's all it means. And of course, beyond a certain number of counts of E. coli, it is a very harmful bacteria. Our body can tolerate some degree of E. coli. Even our uh, large intestine has E. coli. That is how it is uh, going into the sewage and then finally into the water bodies. So this is actually a spreadsheet. Like for example, you have a sample ID, right? As to where you collected it from, if you want uh, to do it in the geospatial environment, then it is the latitude and longitude of the location. These lat longs uh, are very important, keep in mind. I'm not sure how many of you have uh, some idea of the latitude and longitude. Because the entire uh, modern uh, society, all uh, services, all claims by the local bodies, everything in respect of defense of a country, spread of disease, these are the place name that is crucial. The place name along with the latitude and longitude of that place. That is what is important. So, what is the advantage of an electronic uh, database of water, physical, chemical and biological properties? For example, you know, we have 100 samples of water from 100 different places. So, if you want to extract the number of water samples carrying a certain level of, certain count of E. coli, then you can send it, you can ask for a search with these words. And then the Excel uh, will extract only those along with the name of the place, along with the latitude, longitude, or any, any such a parameter or attribute you measure in the water sample. That is a very humble way of searching. On the other hand, if you went to your bank, to the ATM, there you use an ATM card to extract some information or to withdraw money. That is also a part of a huge 
electronic database that falls under relate re, RDB or relation, relational databases. Relational database. And this itself is a field of entire field of study. Relational database management system, RDBMS. Because organizations like banks or uh, airline booking, airline companies are for that matter the administrative wing of the, for example, there is a talk about uh, chief minister's dashboard. You know that uh, the government of Kerala is planning to implement in the state of Kerala. Mr. Uh, P. V. Joy, the Mr. Chief Minister, no, Chief Secretary, and his team went to what is called the uh, state of Gujarat to figure out what is which like why advantage of using the Chief Minister's dashboard as it is used by state of Gujarat. I'm not sure whether you know what is a dashboard. Well, if you have, if you have a, if you travel in a passenger car, in the drive, seat beside the driver, there is this panel in front of you, with little lights and the alphanumeric information, speedometer, etc., etc., together. That is what is called the dashboard. Well, of course, in an aeroplane also there is a dashboard. In other word, a dashboard is a, a place to display the various parameters that is related to the engine, the speed, the fuel, the temperature and so on and so forth in that particular car as far as that particular car is concerned. Well, of course, if you go to a entry level car, the dashboard may not have so much of information. Whereas if you are in a Ferrari, for example, the dashboard will have a whole lot of information available to the driver. So, what is this dashboard uh, in Kerala is planning to implement? Mr. Prime Minister, Chief Minister can, Chief Minister of Kerala can, at the hit of a button, at the touch of a button in the keyboard, he, from his office or his president's office, figure out what happens in various sectors in the state of Kerala on that particular day? For example, what is the crime? Number of accidents? Everything, you know, in other words, you don't have to. The concert official need not go to different departments and their websites. Instead, it is all combined into one website, one, one dashboard where when there are 18 departments, the, there will be a minimum of 18 elements in the dashboard of uh, the chief of the state. So, that also is a query mechanism. Yeah, a query mechanism by which you are talking, you are making an electronic inquiry into the status of the various departments during the past 24 hours and uh, so on and so forth, including, you know, the, what is the money that is left behind in the treasury at the close of the treasury hours and uh, what are the potential expenditures are, for example, you know, IMD predicts uh, what is called weather tomorrow, today, etc. How is it? It is also based on a huge input of information and data so that it is before it is given to the public, it is processed and inferences are made before it is announced to the press. Like example, I said yesterday, the satellites, while imaging, they make actually a data set of the scene below. But after processing in the ground station, the images are published. Images are given away free of cost to actual users. So, going back to database, you have a, and if you go to 25 years ago or 30 years ago, to any place in Tiruvannadura, Chala, any shop, those shopkeepers 
used to keep a ledger or go to the bank there is a left side of the page of the ledger and the right side page one page left side will be devoted for money that is coming in right side will be devoted for money that goes out yeah, with very cardinal information regarding what was given out what is the check number etc etc that is another another example of a flat uh, sheet but these days if you go to go to a bank physically not to the atm then what you do is what you know as soon as you present the check and uh, still they are uh, doing both parallelly writing in a bag of a ledger as well as entering it in the computer screen so that finally when the check reaches the manager to for final passing the manager can cross check the details in the check against the account number and uh, whatever on a computer screen and it is also on the basis of a electro electronic relational database in other words as far as a bank is concerned you know sbt sbi shastra mangalam sbi maridam guli both can access the same database at the same time that is the drone it is not just one person accessing it the entire india the entire india all the branches of sbi can at the same time access what is called uh, the account and that is the best example of relational database when we say, yeah it is not only savings bank account i am talking about <coughs> other uh, financial support provided by the banks so these are electronic databases there is a generic classification like flat sheet uh, data that databases well you have a physical database that is not under the purview of uh, our uh, this class whereas we have also what is called uh, the electronic databases which are based on computer in general the ad- what is the advantage of database the ad- advantages are you can input you can make an output you can re- and retrieve you can uh, update and you can delete these are the advantages you can update the information in the database you can uh, use the it for create an output out of it say for example if you want to when you check in the atm the balance money amount you have in your account that is actually a retrieval of a piece of information which is coming under the category of balance when you take a currency then also what happens is this is now told to you. of course finally there will be a display this much money is given this much will stay is behind but no printed information so the electronic databases are of great use to the society it adds precision it adds speed it adds uh, accuracy uh, that these are the advantages and therefore then being electronic you know sending an information from one corner of the globe to the other corner of the globe is instantaneous that also you have to keep in mind so databases are such for example the 2021 census which did not take place in india will happen soon maybe year and this year itself or next year and so far the census of india organization they have been making use of paper pencil and people in order to make an enumeration of the households etc etc all the detail on a sheet of paper printed form you it is identical only thing is there will be english language and local language depending upon the state where the enumeration is taking place now the the 2021 census which did not happen due to e- our uh, covid ep- epidemic 
they were actually planning to that will take place soon this year or next year and it, it will make use of a tablet tablet you know what is a tablet computer i am using a tablet to see you and speak to you so if you have a tablet at the end of the enumeration after cross checking the details again the enumerator can at the hit of a button upload this data census data that is the speed in other words we don't have to wait until another 6 months to before you get catch hold of the vital statistics of population and related matters of the country to be known to the public and on the other hand with the electronic uh, system in other words tablet and uh, use of tablet and uploading into a central computer yeah central computer then the processing is uh, anywhere from any part of in india you can get the data with of course some uh, restrictions will be there on uh, the population for example number of children below 5 years of age who did not uh, go to anganwadi if you want to know that of course the, the reliability of the numbers you get will depend upon what you have already entered which is always there no computers do not our databases do not create miracles all the miracle you get is from from the input how precise and accurate the data was or data were so we have a, a relational database we have a network database we have a hierarchical database hierarchical database the best example is what is called the family tree i'm not sure how many of you would know what the family tree is family tree yeah you f- figure out what is family tree okay go to go do a google search family tree how does it work how it is created and so on and so forth you all remember what a family tree is at least to the third generation behind earlier third generation but not beyond that because uh, we have not been record keeping the record of the family tree for the several generations somewhere along i think i read somewhere along that uh, 10000 uh, generations ago 1000 generations ago and you can check in in google also i'm giving a number that's all 1000 generations ago there were only one a a a couple who happened to be now the great 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 grandfather grandmother of the entire population of the world the, the thousand generation may be a little different but you verify it this is what stays uh, lingers in my mind this particular number now basically if you again i go back to the attendance register in the attendance register your name and the serial number these are the two ids 